find a new path to embrace tarot astrology numerology in our hands no weapon formed against you shall ever stand we're winners we never quit we always keep on going quitters never win but we're always growing hey there big cat let's chase the highest vibration together we'll create a new world a brand new nation Namaste, Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs. Welcome or welcome back to Big Cat Astrology. Big Cat Wave, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. The planetary hot topics to add to your almanac over the next seven days. On the 16th of March, the Moon in Leo opposes Pluto in Aquarius. Watch out for conflicts stemming from power struggles and clashes of the ego. Mm. Be diplomatic, especially in family disputes over shared financial obligations. Keep calm and use your creativity to solve issues. This will prevent unnecessary drama.com. On the 17th, the moon in Leo squares Jupiter in Taurus. Today, be careful of going overboard in any area. It's best to hold off on investing in real estate, home decor or renovations. Avoid risky ventures or gambling as your emotions will cloud your judgment. Women may feel discomfort in the womb, hips and lower back during this time. On the 18th, the moon in Leo trines the sun in Aries. This alignment brings about a sense of overall contentment and success in life, improved health and harmony within family relationships, interactions with your partner and are likely to go extremely well. And if you're single, it's an opportune time to explore new romantic connections. Um, on the 19th, the sun enters Taurus, the, which is the beginning or the commencement of Taurus season. This period heralds a time of stability and sensual pleasures, emphasizing the importance of comfort and material security. Exercise patience as you await the fruition of your endeavors. On the 20th, Jupiter in Taurus is conjunct, conjunct, good golly and gosh, Mercury retrograde, lao my tongue. Right, Jupiter in Taurus is conjunct Uranus in Taurus at 21 degrees, which is an extremely lucky transit. This fortunate time offers you a great opportunity to be more independent, creative, and courageous. Dare to step beyond what feels familiar and explore new avenues that can enhance your future. Please watch my detailed messages on this Jupiter and Uranus alignment and its effect on each sun, moon, and rising sign and the corresponding house placement for you. On the 21st, Juno resumes direct motion today in the mutable earth sign of Virgo. Get ready for a time when practical matters become more important, even in matters of love. This phase, which lasts until Juno moves into Libra in August, encourages you to think about how partnerships work and what each person brings to the table. With Juno moving forward in Virgo, it's a time to focus on um, refining your relationship dynamics and themes related to commitment. Juno's position in your natal chart shows your relationship preferences and underscores key themes related to commitment. On the 22nd, the moon in Libra is in opposition to Mercury in Aries. This alignment holds the potential for profound spiritual insight. Beware of disillusionment concerning truths and thought processes. Fluctuating emotions can lead to superficial actions or hasty decisions. Please stay tuned in for my tarot reading to follow. Big a wave! Namaste! Grand Rising Big Cat Air Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for messages for the next seven days. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Big Cat Wave. Let's dive right in and unpack. You 
have a number eight. Eight is the number of money. It's the number of infinity, darling dears. But we're going to carry on. Where you are on the low shoe grid is a number six, darling dears, and your back is turned. So what this energy is coming to the energy that's coming towards you, you don't see it coming. It's in a northwesterly direction, darling dears, and it's also ruled by Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. The energy of the six, as I said, is helpful people. It also means um, ease of travel. Um, it could also represent people coming in from your spiritual community. You're, it's a spiritual link up, your true soul tribe finding you, darling dears. You are in what? Attraction mode. And you're going to notice a lot of synchronicities kicking off in your life over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. The energy of the six is about you balancing your your relationships and your responsibilities darling dears okay the negative side of it is being overly critical or detached over the next seven days all right let's press on so we have the energy of the eight darling dears we have the energy of the five this is about some kind of security some kind of foundation that you are building or have built darling dears yes 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 it's creating a lot of what? Issues with they, them and I'm, those on the rocks of life. Somebody's real, someone or some ones are feeling extremely nerved, racked, pressed, prompt, pumped and perturbed about what you've got going on. And they will be projecting, darling dears, trying to argue and fight with you. Mm -hmm. The energy of the eight, darling dears. Um, so you could be a life path eight or it's a significant date or number in your life, the eight, the 17 or the 26, the number eight rules the letters H, Q and Z. The number eight is ruled by Saturn, darling dears. Saturn. Saturn is the planet that rules Capricorn as well as Aquarius, okay? Saturn is about your responsibilities. Saturn comes from ruling the letters P and F, okay? So Saturn is P and F, the eight is H, Q, Z. All right. Saturn is also coming through as time. Um, it rules time. It, it's about being in all your authority, being disciplined and focused, darling dears. And it's about limitations. Saturn will give you rewards when you what? Push that glass ceiling, darling dears. Go, go past what was expected of you because you are limitless. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. Mm -hmm. The energy of the eight speaks about issues trouble someone trying to put the blame on you yes they're putting the big finger on you darling dears did i not say the projection of it all okay um the three five also speaks about um you getting a visit someone will come and visit you or you'll meet someone along your travels remember some this person is going to try and put some blame on you it could be a flying monkey a merchant of slander jeremiah 940 Mm -hmm. Let that bad juju stay around them. Mm -hmm. Let them speak it not in your presence, darling dears. It will drive you to fury and make your hairline itchy and scratchy. Okay. All right. This reading is going to be about the eighth house, the eighth house of death and rebirth, darling dears. It could be to do with reproduction. Yes, it could. It could also speak about a transformation, a spiritual transformation, darling dears. Somebody's also going to be get be the recipient because eight represents money. Skrilla.com. The recipient of um, a tax return, um, something to do with um, joint finances, a legacy, maybe on an investment, darling dears. But it's also about big business because business ideas, the signing of contracts is, is particularly highlighted this week. Mm hmm. But it's a, the eighth house is a highly spiritual house, darling dears. It's about I desire, but it also comes with secrets, darling dears. The energy of the eighth house is all about yours, other people's money, the mixing of other people's energies, assets. But it's also the what the death of that, darling dears, the letting go, realizing that we own nothing. We own nothing, darling dears. Remember, I told you that. Okay. All right, without going into my conspiracy theories, let's get the energy of this read so we can remind ourselves what we're dealing with. So we've got Saturn. Saturn comes through with the truth, Ruth, darling dears. Tell the truth to yourself. Mm -hmm. No matter how hard 
or heavy it might be, darling. There's tell the truth in every situation. Mm -hmm. The energy of the six speaks about telling the truth will bring in true cooperation, acceptance of self and situations, as well as what harmony, darling, there's for you. The energy of the six is um, rules Libra as well as Taurus energy. And that brings in Venus, who's at the top of this deck. Good golly and gosh. Okay, Venus is about beauty, self-worth, and it's also about abundance, darling, dears. And your creativity is your artistic side, as well as open enemies. Mm-hmm. Lower courts, darling, dears. And um, law, legal, a legal situation may be coming on top over the next seven days. Well, your eighth house is telling you what? It's about endings and beginnings, letting go of one circumstance in order to embrace something which is more fitting. Your status on this Malkuth. Love it. The number eight in tarot is ruled by the strength card as well as the star card, big cat Leo energy and Aquarius energy for sudden change. The strength is about your spiritual strength and it's also a reminder for you to what? Avoid drama.com, darling dears. From a distance you can't see or know who the chicken of the sea is. Mm -hmm. It's about this new movement coming in your life, darling dears. Change which, which comes from the attainment of learning something, learning new things, moving on from past situations. But it's also in the forgiveness that we are basking in the new moon in Aries, right? I've already put up the reading for that and how it will affect your sun, moon and rising sign, darling dears. Because this energy is going to affect us for the next six months. Remember I told you that? All right, let's press on let's get your oracle ancestral message it's a good shifty okay you fell off the back end Miracles are afoot, darling. Is you have the proverbial, proverbial, I can't say it now. Yes, I can. Proverbial genie in the lamp, darling. Is the universe is saying whatever you like. This is going to be unexpected, darling. Is mm -hmm. we're seeing a lot of the dark blue. This is representative of your throat chakra, darling. Is the frequency of seven four one. The frequency for Saturn is three nine six. Play them in juxtapose over the next seven days, especially at night time when you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. Expect the wondrous to emerge. Fabulous, gorgeous, and lovely. Lovely, jubbly, darling dears. Lovely, jubbly. Okay, let's press on. Let's press on. Move this back a bit so we've got some space. Let's get a deck. Base of your deck, darling dears. You listen, you got the genie and lamp, then you got the nine of cups. As I said, the universe is saying whatever you want. It also speaks about you having left the eight cup eight of cups behind, darling dears, to find the ninth cup. Found it inside, did you? Best place to look, darling dears. Go within. Mm -hmm. Good golly and gosh, I love it. I don't hate it. Moving on from emotional trauma and drama, darling dears. You was you was stuck for a while, darling. Is for a time unsure in whether to stay or leave. Why? It was complacency, darling. Is which brought the contempt of the situation on yourself. It also speaks about you, this rejection, this change of direction was divinely guided, and it's orchestrated, darling. Dears, somebody's about to hand in their resignation at their job, darling. Dears, yes, 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 and you're not giving up, darling. Dears, it's a new chapter. You can begin a new chapter anytime you want. Especially when you're being spiritually guided to move just like that. Mm -hmm. What's the money and finances for the air signs? What is on the cards for the air signs? Three of Cups, darling dears. This is emotional fulfillment. You're going to have a reason to celebrate as far as money and finances are concerned. Yeah. Because once you let go, and it's also letting go of what a lack mentality or situation that was keeping you restricted. Again, the energy of Saturn, darling dears. Base of the deck. This is healing and the rebirth of you. Love it. I don't hate it. This goes to the energy of what? Um, The six and the four goes to a ten. That's completion. Ending of one cycle in order for a new one to begin. But you're going to have calls for celebration. Split the deck. The Empress. This is abundance on every level. And it's what? Earth and Venus energy. Did we not just speak about Venus? 
Okay then. Oh what? I'm showing you the wrong card. Who then why put that deck on top of the other? But the first house is about self. The fourth house is about love, darling, dears, and it's about you coming out of your shell. This is you coming out of a lack mentality. Some of you are going to be moving on from a job, handing in your resignation. I see the party here, but somebody is going to someone is also going to be skipping the leaving party they've got no one that they really want to say goodbye to they, your absence alone will speak volumes what did i say eight of cups you're moving on from a situation darling yes but to something which is going to be more fortunate for you we i've already said miracles darling dears miracles are afoot one more card on the work yeah earth angel you be darling dears you've been on a difficult journey major arcana it's saying that it's now balancing out your map. You're going to be able to balance out your time as well as your finances going forward over the next seven days. You're healing from a situation, moving away from a situation, but it's because you was you was mentally bored there. Listen, nothing like a bored air sign, darling dears. You'll find things to occupy yourself with, but they won't want to pay you for it, darling dears. Moving on from a situation that gives you no gratification, where you're going to is a passion project. Um, temperance energy, Sagittarius energy, ninth house. This could be um, in the form of learning a new language, learning astrology, um, travel, darling dears, meeting people and meeting of minds, mm -hmm. higher education. But it's all about moving on from a previous situation, which is going to bring you emotional fulfillment. Let's give it a good shift in and see what's going on for my singles. My single air signs. Over the next seven days. Single air signs. Thank you. You've got the sun card in the upright, darling dears. Love it. I don't hate it. We already mentioned Big Cat Leo energy. It speaks about having raised your vibration. Somebody will also be meeting a significant other over the next seven days. Mm -hmm. The energy of the sun is Big Cat Leo energy. Um, it's the fifth house dating or maybe you are being going on a blind date darling dears but it's going to go well why you are on the same frequency mm -hmm. um, it also speaks about vacations and maybe somebody's going to find himself pregnant from this meeting good god you're diving in that quickly in these dangerous times of soul tie good god where's the research i told you do the boosie badass before you give up the genitalias please please what golly and gosh, we trust no one. I don't care if they come in on a flaming chariot. No. But it's the happy times, darling dears. It's also the culmination of putting past situations and circumstances, laying them to rest once and for all, realizing that they are not what drives you, darling dears. This is Cupid's arrows, and it also speaks about travel. And as I said, it could be what spiritual in the sense of higher learning, learning new new um cultures, languages, astrology. Yeah, all of this and that, darling dears. Your world view has definitely changed, darling dears, moving forward. Mm -hmm. No, not wanting to be disappointed with what people that emotionally drained you. Look into the sky. Yeah, looking up for inf inf ugh, put my teeth back in. Inspiration, darling dears. You've got the six of cups. Many people that you're leaving behind are going to regret it, darling dears. Let that bad juju stay at their mud hut, right? Because we're not having it, yeah? We're not playing spiritual ping pong. No, right? As new opportunities are going to be presented to you. Why? Because you've raised your vibration, darling dears. And for some, this is your 10th cup of spiritual and emotional alignment, darling dears. As I said, loyalty on, is on its way. Why? Because you are portraying loyalty, darling dears. And how you portray that? By taking away the disloyal things that no longer serve you. People, places and things, darling dears. This is what this, the universe acknowledging that you've let go of all of these things. The six. And the four goes to the 10th cup. The 10th cup that we've already arrived at, darling dears. Last time, it was the 10 of swords. You had to get your mind right, darling dears. But now your emotions are in the right place for true love's first kiss. The calling of what? True alignment of soul mates, your soul tribe, darling dears. If you have an invitation over the next seven days, go and make sure you dress to kill. And not literally, just figuratively, darling dears. What best compliments a big cat air sign? Go. Mm -hmm. Because you will be what? Shining bright like a diamond, darling dears. You're going to have a fabulous, gorgeous and lovely week next week. Okay. What about those in a partnership or a relationship? Mm. The 
we've got the Knight of Swords. I see Capricorn and as well as um, Aquarius energy. Okay, the Knight of Swords is telling us that you're going to be getting new social contacts, but it's also on the back end of a broken heart, darling dear. Somebody made a hasty, hasty decision. So, and a move that was lack, the lacking in intelligence, darling dears. Yeah. Now they're going to realize too late that the, they did that to the wrong, to the wrong person. The, they had the right partner. This is a case of picking and picking until you pick shit, darling dears. Yeah. Look at this. Mm -hmm. They had a lot of things to say about this relationship or partner to this new person. Yes, the devil's most diligent worker. Prakala or Prakalisha, son or daughter of Pennywise the Clown. This person was always obsessively jealous of you, darling dears. And it also speaks about what low self-esteem. They had the right partner, but they tried to beat you down and beat you down. Listen, and they brought another person into the situation, person or friend. But they've been telling them a lot of things about you that has been untrue. King of Cups, they, listen, you was loyal to them, whether you are male or female, darling dears. I'm seeing Pisces as well as Aquarius energy. Pisces is about what? You already know this. You already know this, darling dears. Look, I can't make it up. You're moving on, mate. You're giving them your shapely back. Law 16 of the 48 Laws of Power. This is the time where you, what? Law number 25, you reinvent yourself, darling dears. Law number 31, so you can control your options. And remember going forward, if somebody cheated on you, lied on you, it has nothing to do with you, darling dears. It's everything to do about them. And everybody has to, what? Pay the price one day. Continue to be law number 34. Act like the emperor or empress that you are and you will be treated like it. Raise your standards, darling dears. Not your nerves. Remember your hairline. You're going to move on from a situation where somebody, they, they've got addictions as well. We know they're addicted to lying, darling dears. That's a personality disorder. But it's also about someone who's addicted to what? The kinky SEX, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They like to dominate in that situation. Maybe that's all they come with, darling dears. Well, guess what? No matter how good you are something, darling, no matter how good someone is at something, right? If they're doing it in the wrong energies, someone's going to be pissed off and walk away, darling dears. People's going to be like, why did you leave them? Listen, you ain't got to live with them. Or listen to their what? Soul ties, darling dears. And their what? Ear hustling with the gaslighting. Moving away from a situation is the best thing you ever decided to do. Mm -hmm. Let's get a final message from a different deck. We're going to use the True Love Oracle deck. Give it a good shifty. Final messages as miracles and true understanding, deeper understanding. This is spiritual awareness and raising your vibrational level, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Final message from my air signs for the next seven days. That's a lot, darling dears, but I'm taking them. This could be the one. Finances in your career and everything is coming in through very soon. Did I not say your finances is about to change? Why you are changing your perspective? You're saying hasta la vista. Dos for Daniel to a circumstance that doesn't fit you. Because not all money is good money. It's affecting your mental health, darling dears. When you focus on money, you get a love affair. When you focus on a love affair, you get money. So I think that you're getting blessed in all areas. Over the next seven days. Remember I told you that. That's if it's a partnership you're looking for. If it's not. If it's true divinely guided soul tribe. They are coming in as well darling dears. Mm -hmm. Just be grateful. Remember you roll with the six G's. The six G's darling dears. I tell you this all of the time. Don't you remember? The six G's of God. Goals. Gifts. Greatness. Growth. And your gratitude. For what you've been through. The lessons that you've learned. And the fact. That you've got another day to suck it to him, Scotty. On that note, I dropped me mic. So love to my Teesprings, my Patreon, or my TikToks. If you'd like a personal read, please hit me up in the Gmail. Thank you very much for your continued support of me in these messages. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your bookings, your donations. And most importantly, darling dears, your comments, which is a survival kit for another big cat. And as I always say, don't get smoked and don't smoke yourself from the ashes, baby. Namaste. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, big cat wave until we meet again on these
tired of the streets. Chat, 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 chat. Together we'll create a new world, a brand new nation.